Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement Facebook login functionality in Laravel 9. So yeah guys let's start. As you can see I have already created a notepad file right here in which we have all the necessary steps that we need to implement in order to implement the Facebook login functionality. So let's start with the step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project. If you want to use an existing project you can. It's totally up to you. In my case I'm going to start with a fresh Laravel project so I'm just going to copy the first command right here. Since I have Laravel globally installed so that's why I'm I am going to simply use this command if you don't have laravel globally installed so you can simply use this command okay so let me access git bash git bash and i'm going to access the htdocs folder first of all cd c zem htdocs and right here i'm going to type or paste laravel new facebook one why I already have a project with the name Facebook that I created for the Hindi and Urdu lecture. So that's why I'm going to name it Facebook one this time. Hit enter and this command is going to take some time for the execution. So I'm just going to pause the video here. Okay guys, so now we have our fresh Laravel and project, uh, project in place. So let's move forward to the step number two, which says that we need to configure the database. So let's access our folder first right here, project or, or you can say project, yeah. So CD Facebook one, just like that. Let's move to Sublime and let's access our project right here as well. Open folder, htdocs, Facebook one. And by default, Laravel is going to assume that we have the database name that is equal to our application or Laravel project name, which is right here, Facebook one, Facebook one. So yeah, let's create the database. So new, and I'm going to type Facebook one. Okay, create. Okay guys, so step number two is done. Let's move to step number three, which says that we need to configure Laravel UI. So let's just copy this command from right here. Okay. And let's move to git bash and paste it right here, just like that. Hit enter and I'm going to pause the video once again. Okay guys, so uh, this command execution is done. Now let's move to second command. So just copy and let's move to git bash and paste it right here and it will be done in a second and so it done. So we have our scaffolding as well. Now let's run this command and just like that. Okay guys, so now we are going to run a read server right here. So I need to access another instance of git bash. So let's do that new git bash and let's try to access our folder or project directory right here. So cdc zam ht docs and Facebook one just like that okay fourth step we need to run the migration and we need to add the additional field fb underscore id so let's move to sublime let's close this and let's move to database migration user stable and right here i'm going to create another column field string type would be string and fb underscore id just like that and i'm going to put in the label right here okay and i'm also going to do the same for the password field why because uh, every user is not going to use his facebook credentials so sometimes you will need uh, normal uh, let's say user credentials for login like some users will need normal uh, credentials uh, to log into your application and some might use facebook so in both cases we are going to put null label so that in facebook login case we don't need uh, let's say the password and in normal credentials field we don't need the fbid so yeah that's the scenario Okay, so let's close this and let's move to users.php and let's put fb underscore id as fillable property. Done. Okay, let's step, let's move to step number five, which says that we need to install socialite package. So just copy this command, copy and paste it right here in the new instance right here. And I'm going to pause the video. Uh, once it is done, I will resume it. Okay guys, so it's done. Let's move to step number six with that uh, that says that we need to register socialite package. So I'm just going to copy this and let's move to config app.php. So sublime 
let's close this and let's move to config app.php provider side go down to the providers and right here and I need one more alias for this so copy and we are going to define it in the aliases section just like that so it's done step number six done let's move forward now we need to get the facebook app id and app secret and we need to assign the app url in meta for developer because we are using in uh, let's say facebook in this purpose for the login so yeah that's what we need to do but before that let's copy everything from right here step number seven and we need to configure it in the uh, config services.php so sublime services.php and paste it right here okay right here we are going to put our client id or application id for facebook client secret application secret right here and right here we need to define the url keep that in mind that you need to define the correct port on which you are running your laravel project in my case i am running my all of my laravel projects i am running it on uh, port 8080 why because i am using port 8000 right here for my php my admin so just keep that in mind uh, you need to define the correct port on which you need you are going to run your laravel projects or you usually run your laravel projects on so you need to define that port right here okay let's move to the first part that we need the uh, facebook id and meta secret so let's move to google and right here i am going to type meta for developers okay right here and then you need to uh, use your facebook credentials to log into this application it is quite simple because it is from the facebook itself so yeah all you need to do is click on login and uh, assign your or uh, let's say you need to uh, log in using your facebook credentials as simple as that okay after that you will be redirected to something like that uh, right there you need to create an application in my case i already have it but i'm going to tell you the procedure so click on create app and then you have to select one of the options let's say this one next okay and just doing it randomly okay then you need to de define your application display name right here so let's say this your email should be correct i am project name should be correct i already have it so this is just for demo i'm just showing it to you and your email should be correct then you need to click on the application and you will have something like this like this okay then what you need to do is you need to access your application laravel app in my case okay and then you need to uh, search for the part add products to your application right here you need to look for the facebook login card it's missing right here why because i i am already using it you can see it right here so you will see it somewhere here okay if i'm not wrong so facebook login you need to click on that and you will be redirected to right here facebook login then move to quick start okay and then you need to click triple w web right here you need to define your application url once again http colon slash slash localhost colon the port which you are using in my case i'm going to run my project on 8080 keep that in mind this is important guys please okay save and let's move then let's then move to settings basic okay and from right here i can simply get my application id so that's my id copy move to sublime and i'm going to paste it right here okay and right here show because i need to access it oh sorry assign it right here application secret okay make sure about the port itself so app id app secret done and this is the url right here so everything is fine okay <coughs> that's it guys let's move to step number eight which says that we need to make a controller so let's do that php artisan make controller social controller okay once you have your controller you can simply copy everything from right here and paste it in your controller so copy and let's move to social controller social controller and paste everything right here okay so yeah everything is fine let's move to the next step which says that we need to uh, configure the route step number nine so copy the routes i will give you this notepad file don't worry okay so web.php <coughs> sorry for that 
we are going to discuss the whole project procedure how it's uh, running and what's going on but first let's complete this step so step number nine is done we have pasted the routes right here now step number 10 we need to add an anchor for the facebook login into our login blade so copy and let's move to uh, resources views auth login blade and just below the password i'm going to paste it right here okay just like that save it now it's time to run our project so yeah but we didn't i don't think we ran our migrations or no so i'm just going to cross check yeah we don't have our migrations so let's run our migration php artisan migrate just like that and then we can simply run our project php artisan serve code 80 80 just like that enter okay so let's access our application right here let's move to login blade okay guys so now we can simply check this functionality by clicking on login with facebook so login with facebook let's try this okay guys so we are in and you can see my facebook username right here okay so it's working fine now let's see the user result or user data right here okay so user and right here you can see every detail is right here except the password why because i commented out the password section that's why now i'm going to show you what's going on so let's discuss let's start with the login blade so right here i have assigned a url uh, auth slash facebook so whenever i'm clicking on login with facebook i'm hitting this route so let's move to the route right here. using this route i am hitting social controller method facebook redirect let's see what we have right there okay so right here we are using socialite driver for facebook for the redirection so in my case it didn't ask me for the facebook login why because uh, my facebook account is already logged in i will show you with another example uh, for that i'm going to log out my facebook account so you can see that so uh, whenever you are going to facebook uh, route or facebook url you need to uh, apply your credentials facebook credentials and then after successful login facebook is going to redirect back you to this url auth facebook callback right here okay once you reach here with your credentials we are hitting social controller method login with facebook which is right here okay so we are using try and catch to catch the state first of all we are assigning creating a variable user we are using socialite driver for facebook and stateless browsing why is in some cases facebook is not going to let's say uh, or laravel application is not going to keep the track of the let's say state of the browser so that's why it is important sometimes that you define stateless browsing okay so using socialite driver or facebook you need to log in to your facebook account it is going to return everything that that specific credential have let's say your account have your username email etc all that stuff so we are saving everything right here in this user then i'm just creating a check that if this is an existing user i'm checking it with the help of query use a user where facebook id you can see the facebook id i'm checking it with the help of facebook id is not same for every user so user where facebook id is a uh, user underscore id like this user id if both are equal this means that user already exists in that case if user exists this means that user exists you need to redirect it to the home blade just like that else you need to create that user we are going to get the credentials every credentials of user are right here so name email id just like that and for the password we can create it ourselves because in facebook login we don't need a password you can keep a uh, default if you want uh, a default password for every user you can do that it's totally up to you okay so after that after the user is created we are redirecting our user to home blade so now i'm going to show you two more things that if you want to use the password you can do that you can assign and encrypt the password yourself it's totally up to you but facebook user will not need any sort of password for the login okay in this case as well so yeah let me show you first of all i'm going to delete this account okay and i'm going to access my facebook and i'm going to log out from that so just give me a second i'm going to pause the video okay guys so i have done that now let's move to login okay 
and I am going to click on login with Facebook again. Let's click on that. I don't have any user in a, a right here. You can see. So now I need to uh, verify and my credentials. So yeah, that's what you needed to see. I know. I know you guys. <laughs> okay, login. If the credentials are correct, we are. It is going to uh, let's say login we are going to login in our application right here you can see so it's correct now in this case we have a password as well let me just refresh this to show you so right here facebook id name email and the password that we created using this so i'm just going to uncomment this out because i don't need that in most of the cases in your case if you need it you can keep it it's totally up to you so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care